this is a Stormcloak soldier. Stop that! Die! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, Yurek, it's been a month since the Emperor was slain and the Dragonborn was slain and I became the Dragonborn. <laughs> that was all part of the One's plan. Unfortunately, in the time between then and now, Lydia became my house Carl and was also slain by the Silver Hand. And then the one sent me you to replace Moksh. It's good to have you. I can't imagine going into civil war without an orc by my side, especially one as massive as you are. Unfortunately, Moksh lost his size in some unexplained magical mishap. But now you're here and it's time for us to finally visit the Jarl of White Run. Brynjuin, let's go. There were so many pieces of the puzzle that had to be fit into place. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. All at the mechanization is the finest of the one. And that's not just a wife's boasting. Now, I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> so everything that the one has wanted so far has come to pass with me joining the Imperial Legion. Me becoming the Dragonborn. <laughs> the gods watch over your battles, friend. I have an important message from General Tullius. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it. Ulfric is planning to attack Whiterun. The general wants to lend Legion troops. I see. Give the papers to my steward. I was given strict instructions for the Jarl's eyes only. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Is Just he now? Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. <laughs> I suppose These are that interesting loophole. reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelef. It's time to act. You <coughs> plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his <coughs> storm cloaks to do it for him. True, he's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. Oh. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. 
And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. <laughs> what? Was it cowardly then to accept the white gold concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about the gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak. <laughs> An axe. <laughs> How long have you been in Skyrim? Yes. Give the man my axe. If he returns it to you, it means we have business to settle. If he keeps it, then we are at peace. And should I say anything to him? Men who understand one another need not waste words. Hmm, there see. are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Ulfric will know my meaning. Well, very well understood. Good. Good. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Now, we if you don't mind, letter, Lord? I've got a... Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of yours. <coughs> All right, I suppose we'll come back and pick up your letter. Come on. Let me get your name again. Rack. Rack. I'll remember that one day. I hope. All right, let's go. All right, we're headed to Windhelm. Hold it there. Keep your distance. What happened here? Another girl killed. This is Susanna, from Candlehearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago. But I can't say I knew her. And how was she killed? Same as the others. Looks like she was stabbed and then cut apart. It's like an animal got to her. But these are the wounds of a blade. And this has happened before? Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. Well, it sounds like the guards aren't doing their job. Guard? Look, there's a war going on, if you hadn't heard. We barely have enough soldiers to walk the streets, much less patrol every corner. Hmm. Good luck. You, you see that I'm dressed as an Imperial, and you would dare implore me for help. You're all mad. Hold it there. Keep your distance. No resistance so far. This should I'm be fun. Sure that the the here don't think care all about all matters beasts. one way. You there. Yes. Make it quick. I'm a busy man. Uh, oh, and I'm not. I've brought a message from the Jarl of Whiterun. Is that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh. What's this? Ah. You're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it. 
and tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. <laughs> I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. I'm sure. So, you killed the High King. Why make war on your own people? I have shown the people that when our Jarls drink the Empire's milk, it makes us weak. I must now show them the path that will lead us back to our strength. There is no progress without sacrifice. No wheat without threshing the chaff. The Empire and the Jarls who back them must be swept away. The people demand it. I demand it. You will be stopped. Oh? True, I may meet my end in a dark alley with a dagger in my back. But the people have seen the truth, and they will not back down. We'll be seeing you... soon. Sooner than you think. <laughs> All right, Yurak, let's go. the Jarl. Sorry, ah. I have a... Good. <sighs> Take a moment to breathe, soldier. Who is that? But, uh, Jarl. You've sir. returned with my axe. Of course. I knew you... that would be his response. Yes, as did as we As soon all. as you left, I sent word to General Talius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Gods be with us all. All right. Now, Breathe. if you don't mind, the outer walls are strong. If we can hold them there, they have catapults. Damn it. Where did they get catapults? The city walls are already falling apart as it is. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. The men will be fighting in flames. My men are fearless. It's the Imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No. Uh, of course not. Just... Don't let me down, Scipius. We'll need to set up water brigades to combat the flames. Already taken care of. You Imperials are efficient. I'll give you that. How long until they arrive? Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Damn it. What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. They'll be at the gates at any moment. Uh -oh. Why didn't you say so immediately? <laughs> Sir, I tried. Yes, I heard Time him. Time to see what these storm cloaks are made of. The men are already gathering at the gates. Move it, soldier. Spread the word. Go, go, go! Oblivion, take them. Every miserable last one of them. The storm cloaks. Scipius. In force. Get down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. Oh, all right. Now I need to meet with... We need to meet with Legate Ricca. Let's go. Hmm. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. There's no telling how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look. Catapults. Amran, you better get inside. Not unless you want to join us. Brynjuin. Oh, you should take cover.
Princess Hadvar. Is that her up there? We will make this country whole again. Ready now! Everyone with me! For the Empire! For the Legion! All right, who's first? Defend the barricades. So... How, how is this supposed to work? Oh! I can't tell who's who. Let them through. Who's this? that get past the barricade. Somehow I don't think so. General Tullius. He's not here in Whiterun, is he? You follow these men. Revel in your victory here today, even as the gods revel in your honor. Oh, it's the Jarl. Alright, 
Hopefully there weren't many casualties. Good speech, y'all. Thank you for your role in all of this. It would be my honor should you decide to make White Run your home. Speak with Preventus. You make um, the necessary arrangements. White Run is already my home, y'all. Shows how much you pay attention to the citizens here. All right. I thought we were supposed to go see General Tully. Yes, yes. All right. So everything looks like it's under control here. Hopefully, let's let's just go down here. I want to make sure. Advar. You made it. Huh. Yeah. I was sure I'd find you face down. In the hmm. Well, thanks for the help today. Want to make sure that uh, we don't have any casualties out here. Anybody that I know. Hmm. Wow, somebody's cleaned up the bodies already. Just a stormcloak soldier. Wait. This is a stormcloak soldier. Stop that! Die. Hmm. I was going to infiltrate and probably kill the Jarl. It's a good thing we were here. All right, who else? It's a good thing I decided to come down here. You've had your nose in those spell books, haven't you? Nothing compared to true Lord Steel. <laughs> Don't worry about the power that I have. How do you find a way to keep making your weapons sharper? There's got to be a limit to it. Surely. Alright. I think it's okay, no one else. Well, hold on, who's this? Is this a storm cloak? Who are you? Nothing like playing with the prey before killing them. <laughs> All right, it's off to see General Tullius. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. I find your hand in my pocket. I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> Damn Stormcloak rebels. Everyone if I'd been on guard at the Thalmor Embassy. General. By defeating Ulfric at Whiterun, we have solidified the allegiance of the Jarl. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. I'm promoting you to Quester. Oh. Take this okay. blade, the symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. Thank you. And what are my new orders? You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater use to me with greater flexibility. Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Rico will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. And what exactly will I be doing in the field? You'll be doing whatever Rico tells you to do. And I expect you to find creative ways to disrupt the Stormcloaks along the way. Between the dragons and the storm Very well. Gods be with you. You know, there's only one god. <laughs> there's not much up there. But if we can regain Winterhold, our proximity to Windhelm should keep Ulfric wary and wasting troops. All right. 
let's uh, proceed to the pale. 